Hello and welcome back once again for more Terraria 1.4 Summoner Series. Today we're going to try to farm up the Wyvern if it's possible. To try and get some Souls of Flight because we're going to need some wings to get further into this series. But it'd be a great help to actually get them now. Hope you're all doing well. There seems to be a little bit of misconception on yesterday's video and I think that's probably me. I think I kind of misspoke on something but when it comes to doing boss fights with the Spider Staff... It's not that it's not doable, because I know it, since patch 1.301, spotters do cling on to things and hold on to them. But the problem is, is like, even when they fly, it still kind of sets you back a little bit. Basically, I'm looking at it from a DPS standpoint, meaning that, well, you know what? A better idea is if you actually maybe saw the previous videos I did four years ago, and it pains me to say four years ago, but four years ago, I had a summoner series when 1.3 came out. And the thing was... On episodes 13 and 14, I had a boss fight with the twins, where the first fight did not go over so well, the first two fights didn't go over well in episode 13. 14, I followed a fan suggestion about setting the walls up due to the DPS differential, and sure enough, after putting the walls up, we were able to defeat the twins rather handily, to be honest. So it does make a bit of a difference with that. So that's kind of why I'm a big thing about doing walls, the spotter staff. That's kind of why I also cringe about doing it. I mean, you could still do the boss fights without the walls, and it's still going to go after them and cringe on. But the problem is, is it, once you look at it from a DPS perspective, you see that it's a little bit more challenging. Especially when you're just starting hard mode, and having armor like this. Now, I could go get the Forbidden Armor. That's absolutely an option right about now, but it's going to take a lot of grinding to do that. And right now, my luck hasn't been the best either way when it comes to weather-wise. Meaning things like getting sandstorms and all. So with that, yeah, it's a bit iffy. I'm going to need a little help here. So we put down that nugget and try to farm these guys up a little bit more. Hopefully we get a wyvern soon. Uh, maybe two wyverns tops. It depends on the drop rate. The drop rate is kind of why when it comes to the souls of flight. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and not, not die to this thing. I had to take a battle potion. Actually bring him in here. And as long as we just kind of avoid the head and not get wrapped up like that, it should be okay. Always easier said than done, though, right? Especially when you got battle potions, you got all these things flying around you. A lot going on. That actually looks like a, a big... Hold on, is that actually a big... That is... No, a regular feather. I thought it was like a harpy feather, a giant harpy feather. That would work great for our wings. That would work out really well if it was. Come on. Come on, buddies. See, that's kind of why I have issues with the spotter staff right there, is that once they kind of fly off, it does kind of delay DPS just a little bit. Just a little bit. Thousand. He's halfway under. He's actually three quarters of the way down. Dash. And one more good run. There we go. Alright, so we got one before. 12, 22. I think that it just about does it. 30 feathers, so I think that covers it on. Ooh, okay, there's another one. Either way, I think that covers it on uh, the requirement for the, for the... ...234 hit points, one good pass. There we go, all right. That was 20 souls in one shot. That's what I needed the first time. So I think I got, what, 42 souls now? 42 souls and a whole lot of something to go back to. All right, let's go back and see what's in the old inventory. Yep, here is our first actual hard look at the base that's set up in the aloe. Also, you know what else the problem is? Uh, things are growing rather, rather freaking quick. That grew all the way over there. Actually, it's right there. Which means my corruption is growing quick and everything, everything is growing quick. Hold on. Now we go over here. I need feedback. There's Callie the cat. Replaced, replaced Odin, unfortunately. That was not planned. 14 corrupt. Oh my goodness. 14% corruption. That is insane. Okay, yeah. That's uh, a bit scary. There's those wings. We take a look at those wings. Yeah, they're actually, wow, they actually scale down only because the, the NPCs are in the biome they like and there's happiness and everything. So it's scaled down from one platinum, which is not. That is A-OK. -okay. How much do I have? Two platinum. 
Well then. We don't can't make wings, we'll have at least some wings to have. Either way, it's always good. So we have those in tow. Let me just teleport back. Yeah. See what I can go back and make here really quick with these. But yeah, that was the misconception, guys. I didn't mean to confuse anybody or make myself sound even stupider than it was before. When it comes to the spiders, uh, basically it comes down to a DPS thing. So that's what I kind of don't care for. I mean, it makes the fight longer. It depends on the fight you're doing. Like with the twins, it makes it longer. I do a DPS burn. I try to get them down as soon as possible because after a while, it does get challenging. And, you know, once night's over, that's it. And for me, faster is better. And that DPS burn without walls is kind of hard. Having the walls there gives them more ability to move quicker, and it actually does make a difference in DPS. Anywho. Anywho. Crafting. Don't think I have anything on tap to do much with yet. Pixie dust, pixie wings, I think they're pretty eh. Flame wings and all that would be nice, but we don't have any of the required material. Again, broken bat wing, that comes later. Fairy wings. All that good stuff. Yeah, that all definitely comes later. Hoverboard's always an interesting one. Again, that is much later as well. I think right, at least for now, we got 10. Uh, I don't have Souls of Light, so I can't even craft the Angel Wings. Demon Wings is a possibility. Actually, hold on. Actually, yeah, Demon Wings is a very likely possibility. It's between Leaf Wings and Demon Wings. And I'll go ahead and take a look at that before I make a decision, because... I want to get the best ones I can get right now, and that might actually be the Demon Wings. Okay, well, I tried to take a look at a wiki to see what was going on, and it seems like so far, there's not a lot of, like, hard update. There's actually, the one site that had numbers for the wings, I don't even see the numbers anymore. There's just a, a chart, and even then, that was pre-1.4. But these are the Leaf Wings, and they do kind of feel like the Demon Wings. So, just for comparison's sake, even though I know we got 42 souls, can I just make both pair, and then we'll kind of swap them out and try to see how this goes. Now, I'm going to replace my balloon, a well, horseshoe balloon, yellow horseshoe balloon, with wings to make it work, because, well, the wings make them obsolete, pretty much, except for that double jump, which is sweet, but that's for something else if we can make it work. Now, where do my feathers go? And we'll have to go back to this chest, so that way we can at least craft these guys. We'll do a quick comparison here, so that way we can get a feel for how much is better. Of course, the demon wings, angel wings, and, you know, the cheapest wings of all are the, they're the bottom tier. I don't know if they're at this point just yet. Oh, I forgot one major important detail, and that's the fact that we're calcum. And, uh, yeah, mithril. I need anvil. I need to upgrade my anvil very, very much so. Yikes. All right. This is this is going to be interesting because now I have to figure out. The question is, should I actually go ahead and break some altars and unleash more evil into this world because we already got 6 and 14%? Or should we just go ahead and do boss fights without them? I mean, either way, we have to make progress. Reminds me, there's all my pwn hammers from doing lots and lots of walls of flesh. Actually, it was like four walls of flesh. Not that bad. Either way, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to break them just to get ores. Just to do that sweet, sweet ore grind. Because everyone likes the sweet ore grind, don't you? Everyone likes starting off in hard mode, having to do all that. Generally with this, it wouldn't be as bad, but... Yeah, see, now this corruption's coming up too. Coming up everywhere. This is the problem. This is what makes me worry for my town, because it seems like it may not be that far off. We may have to relocate. Okay, there's Cobalt, or Calcum, Titanium, and for those who don't know, every time you break an altar, a little bit more evil gets into the world, whether it's Hallow, or Corruption, or whatever. So, not cool. Let's not break any more altars after this last one. I will not break any more altars after that one. Even though we made some progress with equipment, I don't want to release any more Hell to pay after that. So let's get out of here, please. Do you know what? I got a pickaxe. I don't need to deal with this kind of frustration. Get lost. All right, there we go. So I guess now we'll be stuck, f forced to search in the underground world to find what we need.
All right, let's go and take a look at both of these wings now. I actually went ahead and crafted demon wings that came out rash. Doesn't matter either way. I'm pretty sure these are going to be very close. I don't know the total stats just yet. But first up, we'll go with the leaf wings. And we'll just kind of go up from there. Which sets not that high. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other wings, demon wings. There is no real scientific way for me to do this. But it almost feels like... Let's go back down one more time. Let's compare that tree as a comparison. Doesn't exactly come right past that tip right on that tree to the, the right. Let's go ahead and switch back over here really quick and take another look. It looks as if... Yeah, it looks as if the leaf wings are pretty much on par with the demon wings. So yeah, they were nerfed up pretty handily, actually. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. I guess, again, if everything's quite set then you can get the leaf wings pretty cheap but they're as basic as demon wings and angel wings so there you go either way that was just a little test we need to get some wings so that way we have something to work with and other than that we've got the new anvil set up the aura calcum anvil over here and i actually had to go back in aura calcum to upgrade my pickaxe but other than that it's been an interesting episode i don't know this may interest up as this episode's probably going to be a little bit shorter than normal only because, well, I'm trying to do some testing, experimenting, and other things. I'm going to go ahead and try to make some real progress the next episode, so be sure to turn in for that. Hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time. The video's over, but there's more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Let's Plays, Top 5s, and other videos as well as we cover different titles. You can click on one of the videos here for more. Be sure to rate this video accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Have yourself a wonderful day and I will see you again next time.